Hello math learners! Do you know what is a linear equation? Or do you have any idea about linear equations in two variables? Perhaps you know the different forms of linear equations. Well, if you don't, then watch this video until the end. I will teach you how to find out. But before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in ML with Sir Ash. This is still your free access math teacher Ash and today we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency based lesson for quarter 1, week 5 of the grade 8 mathematics, which is all about linear equations in two variables. Now, let's talk first about linear equation. What is a linear equation? Linear equation is an equation that uses an equal sign and it is in the first degree, meaning that the variables has the highest exponent of only one, such as x to the 1 power or y to the 1 power, but this 1 power will not be written as such because having a variable without a visible exponent, that means that there is an exponent of 1. Okay, linear equation in two variables is basically an equation in the first degree that uses two variables. What are these variables? For this session, we will use the variables x and y. Okay, so... The question is, Sir Ash, what are the things we need to know for us to illustrate what is a linear equation in two variables? Well, a linear equation in two variables has three different forms. The first one is the standard form. The second one is the slope-intercept form. And the third one is the point-slope form. But for today, let's talk first or let's be focused on the standard form. The linear equation in two variables has the standard form ax plus by is equal to c in which a, b, and c are all real numbers, x and y are the variables, and a and b should not be equal to zero. Now, what are certain examples for us to know whether a given equation is in a linear equation in two variables? This is it. Okay, math learners, we have here three different examples of linear equations in two variables. Why? Because all of these equations follows two variables in the first degree. Okay, let's check them one by one. We have here 4x is equal to 9y. 4x is equal to 9y has both two variables, x and y, and has the exponent of the first degree or to the power of 1. So therefore, this is correct. But the question is, is this in the standard form? As we all know, the standard form is ax plus by is equal to c, where a, b, and c are real numbers. So therefore, this first equation is not yet in the standard form. Later, we will discuss how to transform this in its standard form. Now, we have also here 2x minus y is equal to negative 8. Since there are x and y, then that is two variables and the highest exponent is 1. So therefore, this is a linear equation. We also have here 8x plus 4y is equal to 3x minus 6. We have three variables, right? However, two terms has the same variable. So this can be taken as one variable, x and x, while the second one is y. Therefore, this also satisfies our linear equation in two variables. Now, let us go how to transform these given equations into the standard form ax plus by is equal to c. Now, the technique here is very simple. The first thing is that you will first write the first term as the x term, then the y term, and then finally the constant term, the numbers without a variable. Okay, so we have here 4x is equal to 9y. What you will do here is this one, this 9y, will be transposed to the other side. Since this is 4x, that is already our first term, that will become 4x. We, then we transpose 9y, that will become negative 9y is equal to 0. 
Now, the question is, what are your A, B, and C? Your A is 4, okay? Your B is negative 9, and your C is 0. Question, is it allowed for us to have a value of 0 for C? Yes, it's allowed. Because according to the standard form, only A and B should not be equal to 0. Easy, right? Now, let us go to the second example. We have 2x minus y is equal to negative 8. Now, as we can see, 2x is already in the first, y is already in the second, and the number without a variable is on the right side of the equation. Therefore, this is already in the standard form. Now, the question is, what are the value of your a, b, and c? Your a is positive 2. Your b is, this is negative y. And remember, if you don't see any number in a variable, there is a coefficient of 1 hidden. So since this is minus, that is negative 1 for our b. And finally, we have c as negative 8. Is it right? Now, let us go to the third example. 8x plus 4y is equal to 3x minus 6. Now, we have here already our constant term, the term without a variable, so that is already in place. While here, we have an x term, okay? So, what we will do is we will transpose this to the other side, giving us 8x, this positive 3x will become negative 3x, then plus 4y is equal to negative 6. Now, what we will do here is we will combine like terms in order for this equation to be simplified. So, 8 minus 3, that is 5x plus 4y is equal to negative 6. As you can see, this is already in its standard form. A for our 5, okay? Our B is positive 4 and our C is negative 6. Very simple, right? Now, question. What are the things that for us to know that a certain given equation is not linear equation into variables? Let's find out. Okay, math learners, we have here three equations. But as you can see, these three equations are not linear equations into variables. Why? Let us find out why. Okay, the first equation is not a linear equation into variables because... They may be two variables, x and y. However, this x is in the power of 2, meaning in the degree of 2. Therefore, this is not linear. Instead, this is quadratic in form. Therefore, this is not a linear equation into variables. Okay, next. We have number 2. 3 over x plus y is equal to 20. As we can see here, this has x and y, two variables. They are both in the exponent of 1, right? However, this is not valid. Why? Because if we change this into a standard form, this 3 over x will become 3x to the power of negative 1. If you have any idea about um, law of exponents, this 3 over x will become 3x to the power of negative 1. And that negates our idea in the standard form of a linear equation into variables. That is also wrong. Okay, now for our third example, we have xy is equal to 15. x, y are both in the first degree. However, they doesn't follow our standard form and x and y is considered as one term. In the linear equation of two variables, remember that your x term and your y term are separated by either plus or minus. There is no plus or minus here. This is multiplication. Thus, this equation is not a linear equation into variables. Now, let's have more examples on how to transform linear equations into variables into standard form. Okay, math learners, for our final discussion, let's try to transform these given equations into its standard form and identify or illustrate whether these given equations are linear equations into variables. As well as, we will also know the values of A, B, and C. For number 1, we have 9 times the quantity x minus 1 is equal to 2y. So what do we do here is, we distribute our 9 to our quantity. This will give us 9x minus 9 is equal to 2y. 
Now, we have our x term, our y term, and our constant term. Both are parts of our linear equation into variables. However, this is not yet in the standard form. Our 9x is already in place for our ax. So what we will do is we will transpose our negative 9, which is the value of c, to the other side. And we transpose our 2y term to the left side of the equation. So that gives us 9x. Then our 2y, which is when this is transposed, this will become negative 2y. And then our negative 9, when we transpose that to the other side, that will become positive. Therefore, our value for A is positive 9, our value for B is negative 2, and our value of C is positive 9. Easy, right? Now, remember this, my dear math learners. Before you name your A, B, and C, always make sure that your equation, linear equation into variables, is already in its standard form. Okay? So now, let us go to our third example. 7x plus 4y is equal to 4x minus 8. 7x is already in place. However, it has the same x term in the right side of the equation. Our 4y is already in the second term. So that is already in place. And our c is already in the right side of the equation. Okay, so what we will do here is we change or we transpose our 4x to the other side, giving us 7x minus 4x plus 4y is equal to negative 8. As you can see, the plus 4y did not change here. Same goes with the 7x. Only the 4x is changed because it was the one being transposed. Okay, so 7 minus 4, that is 3x plus 4y is equal to negative 8. So this is already in its standard form. So what do we do is we name our a as 3. We name our b as positive 4, and we name our c as negative 8. Easy, right? So, this is all about the linear equations into variables. For the next discussion, we will talk about how to put these given equations to our rectangular coordinate system. And that is all about the slope of a line. So, before we will end our discussion, let me challenge your understanding whether you have understood our lesson. And here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have learned a lot of things in our few discussion for today. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much for subscribing, giving your comments, like, and sharing these videos to our fellow students. God bless, take care, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you and congratulations.